Hey y'all, Steve here with Adventure Outdoors, and today I thought I would take you through a setup of the MSR Fast Stash two-person tent. I bought this, uh, I guess I've had it for a couple months now, and I've yet to put the thing up, so today it's a beautiful fall day here in Carolina, so I thought, what better time to get out and set this thing up and see how it operates. A um, little bit of background, I basically, just watching internet videos and searching for tents and whatnot, this one caught my eye. I like the way it set up. sets up either with two poles or it sets up with a couple of trekking poles. Uh, it's lightweight, fits two people, different configurations you can do with it. It really, I really like the looks of it and really for no other reason because I don't have a lot of um, uh, experience with tents other than the giant family size tents. This one just seemed to do it for me. So I went to Amazon, I ordered it. So today let's set it up. Let's see if I made a good decision or not. And let's see if I like this thing once it's set up. Now this is the, uh, this is the tent as it came to me, everything inside. 4.29 pounds for the tent itself. Okay, let's take this thing out of the stuff sack and see what's in it. Now the stuff sack itself contains the information and directions on how to set it up and that appears that is actually sewn in so that's a good feature you're not going to lose that as long as you have your stuff sack and that's really it for the stuff sack. Okay, now the tent itself. I'm not going to unravel the whole thing right here because I've got it just on a small table. But it's folded up nicely. It comes with the tent stakes. There should be two of those in there. And there are two of the tent stakes. And it also comes with some ground stakes. So it comes with a handful of ground stakes. And I'm not seeing any branded name on these. But there's a look at what you're going to get. And it comes with one two three four five six seven eight looks like it comes with nine of these stakes all right i'm going to follow directions just like they say on the directions it says prepare for setup step number one spread out the tent and stake out the four corners tightly so let's see if we can do that All right, the next thing that you're going to want to do after you get the four corners staked down is you want to take these front guy lines. You're going to want to head and pull those out in the front of the tent and get these staked down because they're going to, what's going to give you support when you put your tent poles in. Now, once you've got the front guy lines secure, you can use the tent poles. Now, keep in mind, this tent is actually designed for these or for trekking poles to cut the weight down that you would actually carry. So let's go ahead and finish the setup.
Now they have these tensioners. You can uh, you can loosen the tension on the cord, or you can certainly tighten it. So there's your basic setup. At the rear of the tent, they do give you an additional tie-out that gives you more spacious room on the inside. Now I will say this initial setup was pretty easy. I had a had to check on a couple things and look at the directions, make sure I was doing it right. But uh, once I once I understood what I was supposed to be doing, this thing goes up uh, in a in a very short amount of time. I think now that I've done it once, I could certainly put it up a lot quicker. So let's take a look at the inside. I'm gonna tell you. For two people, there is a lot of room inside this tent. Now I'm inside the tent now, and I'm gonna tell you there is a lot of floor space in here. Now if you're gonna lay uh, perpendicular to the tent, uh, two people can easily lay in here and probably stow some gear as well and I'm gonna say that if you're up to maybe about if you're a tall person 6'1 6 6'2 6 max you can lay perpendicular in here if uh, you are probably taller than maybe six foot one and especially if you're gonna use it as a single tent you can certainly lay diagonal diagonal I can't get that word out diagonally you can lay diagonally and um, with without any problems plenty of room to stretch out um, pretty impressive amount of space inside here now they got this cool little flap that opens give you some air circulation and of course you can just roll it up. It's got these little toggles right here. That'll keep it up and out of the way for you. Pretty cool if it's raining or something like that and you're all cooped up in here. You got air circulation and plus you can look out, see everything. And I really love that little awning. The awning probably sticks out maybe a couple feet and it just gives you a, a sense of a, fr a front porch on your tent. Pretty cool. Now another feature that I really liked when I chose this tent was the fact that these side flaps, they're kind of multi-purpose. One of the things that you can do is you can roll them up and tie them off. I'm competing with a train in the background right now. They give you these handy little toggles. So now this side flap is up and this mosquito net mesh will allow circulation through the tent and you can do the same thing on both sides. Now let's also assume that it's raining. And I know it never rains on any of you when you camp. What I like about these flaps is you can pull them out and stretch them much, much like just a, a little vestibule. And it'll give you protection from the wind and a, also a place to stow your gear. And you still get the benefits of the circulation.
now if it's really pouring down cats and dogs you can see that you can close these side flaps tight and protect yourself from the elements close everything up tight okay y'all that's it i'm steve with adventure outdoors i hope you've enjoyed this review of the msr fast stash tent try saying that fast three times in a row hey if you got any comments or questions leave them and i'll do my best to answer each and every one hey i'll see all of you in my next video